This image clearly shows the backside internal wiring of a modular electrical switchboard that contains a combination of switches and multi-pin sockets, commonly used in residential, commercial, and educational buildings. From the front side, everything looks neat with switches and sockets arranged side by side, but the real working part lies behind the board, where we see different colored wires connected to the terminals. These wires are mainly of three types red, black, and green, each having a specific and important function. The red wires are the live or phase wires, which carry electric current from the main power supply to the switches and sockets. The black wires represent the neutral wires, which provide the return path for the electric current back to the source. And the green wires are the earth or ground wires, used for safety purposes. Now, let's understand how they work together. Each switch receives a red phase wire connected to one of its terminals. When the switch is turned on, it allows the current to flow from the red wire to the socket it is connected to. So, each socket is wired in such a way that the live current reaches it only when its respective switch is on. This setup is important because it gives the user full control. If you want to disconnect a socket from power, just turn off the switch. Next, the black neutral wires are interconnected across all sockets, forming a common neutral line. This is essential because for any electrical appliance to work, both phase and neutral must be present. Without the neutral connection, the circuit is incomplete, and the device will not function. Similarly, the green earth wire is connected to the earth terminal of each socket. Earth wire does not carry current during normal operation but becomes active during any fault condition, like leakage of current from an appliance. It provides a low resistance path to the ground, thus preventing the user from getting an electric shock. This is a crucial safety feature and is mandatory in modern wiring systems. In this board, we can also observe that the wires are connected in a loop or parallel wiring method. This means that all sockets and switches are independently connected to the supply so that even if one stops working, others continue to function. This is better than series wiring where a fault in one point can affect the whole system. You can also notice jumper wires, which are small wires used to connect the same terminal points of multiple switches or sockets. This avoids the need to bring multiple wires from the distribution box, making the wiring cleaner and easier to manage. Additionally, tightening screws hold the wires firmly in their terminals. Loose connections can cause sparking, overheating, or short circuits, so ensuring strong mechanical contact is a must. Electricians must always check the polarity and the color code to avoid mistakes that can lead to serious hazards. Moreover, wires should have proper insulation, and excess wires should be neatly arranged to avoid overlapping or confusion.